viewers, I am Sarim Khan. I studied in fifth standard, and today I am back to my topic, and that is null vectors and equal vectors. That is for J E E. So today our topic is null vectors and equal vectors. We are going to discuss about null vectors and equal vectors. As we know, there are two very important points from the chapter number fifth vectors from Mechanics Volume Four of this series, Understanding Physics, written by D C Pandey. So today we are going to discuss about null vectors and equal vectors. So first we'll understand about what is a null vector. Okay, so that's our point. So first let me write here null vectors. So here I am writing null vectors, and after null vectors we'll start discussing about what is equal vector. Okay, so first of all our point is null vector. Okay, so first of all let me inform you that null vectors are also known as zero vectors. But why they are known as zero vectors? Okay, there should be a reason for that. Actually, original name is null vectors, but they are also called zero vectors. But why? What is the main reason behind that? And why only zero? Why not other number are included in? So let me inform you. Okay, we are going to discuss about why they are known zero vectors. Okay, main reason behind that. And may okay while discussing that will finally get our answer about to what is null vector or what is a zero vector. So first of all, let me inform you it is also zero vector. So here in bracket we can write as zero vectors. So here let me write null vectors bracket zero vectors. Okay, so because it is all its second name is zero vectors. So now question arises that what is a null vector or what is a zero vector? That's our question. So a zero vector. Okay, I will. I am going to take its name as zero vector. So a zero vector is such a kind of vector whose magnitude is zero, whose magnitude is zero and has no specified direction. But how is it possible to have magnitude zero and no specified direction for a vector? That's the point because that's the main interesting point. In this chapter, that we study about such a vector who really is not a vector. Okay, actually, this kind of vector cannot exist in any other kind. Just like, let me inform you that a, a vector, any vector we have, is like vector quantities. How vector quantities are made? Just like for vector, for any vector quantity, we have two quantities: magnitude. Okay, first of all, it's magnitude. Okay, because vector quantity has a magnitude, and the second is direction. Okay, because all vector quantities have a direction. Okay, now and what are scalar quantities? But only of magnitude and no specified direction. But vector quantity magnitude multiplied by a specified direction. This is why velocity, displacement. Okay, those kinds of quantities are vector quantities. So let me inform you that what if the magnitude of any quantity okay uh, gets zero? Or imagine that quantity any vector any scale. Okay, sorry, physics. Any quantity has no specified direction, no specified direction, but has a magnitude. Then what will okay? Which kind of quantity will that that be? That will be of course a scalar quantity. If it has magnitude plus okay any specified direction, then that is a vector quantity. But if it has nothing, then which kind of quantity it has? That's the main point. Then also there exists such a quantity which has no magnitude, no specified direction. But even in that case, it is a vector quantity. So that's the point. But why? How is it possible to have such a vector quantity who really doesn't follow the rules of being a vector quantity? So here our point is this. Then let me explain to you about how is it possible. So first of all, um, we can know about this that zero vectors or null vectors are those vectors which have magnitude zero. Okay, that magnitude will be zero and they have no specified direction. Now question arises how? Okay, we need any example to understand such a quantity, such a vector quantity. So let me give you example. Just like let me draw a graph here. Okay, so this is a graph. Okay, here x-axis, positive x-axis, positive y-axis, negative x-axis, and negative y-axis. Okay, those graphs we have been studying from very long time. Just like in eighth, we can study ninth, tenth, eleventh, twelfth. Okay, basic whole mathematics is based over graphs. Graphs are very important, so we have studied very much about graphs. We have much knowledge about it. So we'll try to represent a vector, okay, zero vector on the graph. So let me inform you that just like here, one we one unit we can have two units, three units. Now here also one units, two units, three units. Now negative one, negative two, and negative three. And here negative one, negative two, 
and negative 3. Okay, this is a graph. Okay, positive x-axis, negative x-axis, positive y-axis, negative y-axis. Now, here so many numbers, so many numbers. Okay, dot and here dots we can put because they will go up to infinity. That's the point. Those graphs will go up to, okay, those numbers will go up to infinity on this number line or on this graph now but even if there is also such a point on this graph okay there is such a point on this graph where the x on x axis the point will be zero and on y axis also point will be zero and that point is origin means this point this central point for this given graph is origin okay the central point now on the central point we can call it zero comma zero okay it is zero comma zero why zero comma zero because in okay because here the point of x axis is 0 point of y axis is 0 that's the point this y origin uh, okay on origin the points are 0 comma 0 so this is the origin always on any graph in the central position this is our 0 comma 0 or this is our origin now let me inform you that for those all position vectors will have many unit vectors just like we have unit vectors for x axis y axis z axis that are i cap j cap and k cap now like this will have also and uh, will have a kind of vector position vector for origin okay just like okay we'll have any position vector for origin since origin is 0 comma 0 okay origin is we can define origin as 0 comma 0 okay so now position vector what will be the position vector for 0 comma 0 that will be such a vector whose magnitude will be also zero. So here we get example of zero vector about such a vector whose magnitude is zero. But since okay zero comma zero or is it, it is is it in any specified direction? No, it is not in any specified direction. Like this, this is why the position vector denoting origin means the zero vector or null vector has also not any specified direction. So, like the zero vectors don't have any magnitude, magnitude is zero because zero comma zero, okay, on points on x is zero, points on y axis is zero. And now, finally, next what we can see that the direction, they have no specified direction because there is no direction just like for zero comma zero or origin. So, that's the point we got to know about zero vectors can also exist. Such vectors whose magnitude is zero and their direction, no specified direction. So, like this, let me inform you that their position vector for origin is, okay, a zero vector and let me inform you they have no specified direction, okay, no magnitude, magnitude is zero and they are only of mathematical importance okay in, in generally so much will not study about them but even at this point is that the concept about null vectors or zero vectors is, is very interesting to know about such vectors that really do not follow rules now we'll be studying about equal vectors what are equal vectors null vectors we covered now we'll cover equal vectors so for that let me first of all erase this and later we'll be covering equal vectors Okay, then let me erase this. Okay, and this graph. And now we'll try to study, okay, equal vectors. About what are equal vectors? Okay, uh, and uh, just like uh, examples we'll be taking about equal vectors. Its concept is also very interesting. Okay, then now I have already erased it. Now only what I have to do, let me write here equal vectors and then we'll start our study based on equal vectors. About what is equal vectors? Okay, and many important and interesting concepts related to equal vectors. So for studying equal vectors, first of all, let me inform you that if we cannot have okay only one equal vector. That's point. We cannot have only one equal vector. Okay, for having equal vectors, we should need at least more than one vectors. Okay, more than one vectors can can be our equal vectors. But all more than one vectors are not our equal vectors. Just like let me give you an example. Equal vector okay it's like if we have any two vectors imagine we have two vectors one is such and second is also such 
Okay, their directions are same. Imagine the first vector B A and the second vector B the B. Okay, so we have two vectors, vector A and vector B. Here, see their direction are same of both vectors. Now their direction is this one. Okay, they are same. The direction of both and in magnitude of both vectors is also same. Are they both equal vectors? Of course, they are both equal vectors. But why they are equal vectors? So first of all, let me tell you again uh, that point which is very important in this chapter. Vector is made of one magnitude okay first quantity is magnitude okay it is made up of magnitude and second is direction is specified direction okay so this is very important point vector is made of magnitude and direction okay if any just like generally vector does not have any quantity only magnitude and direction can work to know about any quantity is vector or not but sometimes it doesn't follow okay it doesn't follow this rule but even then any quantity may become sometimes it follows those rules but even then any quantity is not a vector so but even then they are made of those two quantities magnitude and direction so by this those two quantities we can study about equal vectors now question arises what are equal vectors okay that's our question so let me inform you that if we have two vectors vector a and vector b we have two vectors vector a and vector b okay we have sorry yeah b this is vector b so imagine we have vector is a and vector b so imagine the magnitude okay just like a vector is made of magnitude so vector a will have a magnitude okay so vector a will have any magnitude so let the magnitude of vector b a b mod a can we write this vector a magnitude as mod a of course we can write so imagine that the magnitude of vector a or mod a equals a okay is small a okay and the magnitude of vector b that is mod b imagine it equals that okay is small b so that's the point mod a a equals a and mod b equals b okay so if such case we have then what we can say that those two vectors are equal vectors of course they are equal but this is not uh, and sorry only what we have to do if this is small is equals to small b okay then small a is equals to small b that's the first point to be equal vector because if this magnitude of first vector equals magnitude of second vector then those two vectors are equal vectors okay that's point but point first okay that is condition first that is not only condition that is condition number first there are total two conditions to be equal vectors okay two vectors are equal or not second is their direction should be same okay means direction okay direction of vector a should be equals to the direction of vector b okay direction of vector a should be equals to direction of vector b okay so if direction of vector a is equals to the direction of vector b then what we can say okay and this is the second point okay to be equal vectors this is the second and last point so if we have any two vectors so vector a and vector b the magnitude of vector a be the mod a which is equals to small a and magnitude of vector b the b the mod b which is equals to small b and if this small a is equals to small b and direction of vector a is equals to direction of vector b then those two vectors the vector a and vector b are equal equal vectors why they are equal because vector a is made only of magnitude and direction and if magnitude is same and direction is same then we can call those two vectors are equal vectors since here also we can see that here those two magnitudes are equal and the direction of both vectors are also equal so that's the point that about what is equal vector and let me inform you in my next videos we can study about parallel vectors anti parallel vectors and like this many interesting kinds of vectors so this was my today's topic thank you